Welcome to the hot and spicy. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I've just poured this on Carlsberg, right? There you can see the carbonation in flow there. Wow. So cheers, Carlsberg. Ice cold. Pint sized glass. I got two of these. One's, well, pint sized and one's, well, not half, half pint. Right. What are we having? A new product. Um, and a big thank you to Iceland for this because uh, I was given access to these, shall we say before they were released in the shop. They are for sale now, if you go to their website you'll see them there. Called um, Iceland's Carolina Reaper Chicken Chunks. They they used to sell the, the uh, strips, which weren't that hot. I'm presuming these could be the same, but we'll see. Um, they're 500 grams proper chicken breast. Uh, they use chili powder, um, there's all sorts of stuff in there, paprika, um, coating, it's a coating. So um, there's one, so we'll give it a try. Proper chicken breast, uh, 3 99 a bag. Not tried them. Beautiful chicken. If I remember, you eat one and then you have another one and it's one of these sort of build-ups. Mm. Gorgeous chicken. Anyway, while we see if these are going to... Oh, there's a bit of a tingle there now. How's your week? How's your week been? I'm sure the batteries need changing that. Does it flicker? No. How's your week going? It's warm. It's very warm. Yeah, so um Oh that's lovely. Colder the better. We've got to gonna have some bread, haven't we? Mm. That's Tesco's um, garlic and coriander. Beautiful flatbread, all butter. Try another one. slightly slightly building there but for me personally <clears throat> the pa I, I, I was hoping they'd um, stepped it up a bit since the strips in heat but um, they seem to be the same sort of heat as the strips at the moment uh, so I might have to step it up myself in a minute but absolutely stunning Chicken, real breast chicken, lovely. It's a nice snack. Okay. Yeah, they went, um, do you have for sale? As you watch this, they are, but I bought these. Well, I went to Iceland, I should say, shopping, and then um, so very kind. Um, the staff are fantastic. There. 
and they went due out but as you can have you can have two whatever bags you want I said I'll have two please so one's in the freezer so thank you Iceland very kind especially before they were due out I can't believe that but anyway while we were there did some shopping and went round bought odds and odds and ends and I got a beautiful thin crust um what was this sauce chorizo sauce no oh, I forgot the name right it's either chorizo or salami sausage no it's not salami like a chorizo sausage I think it was um a pizza thing square oh it was stunning bits of meat on it and it was nice really nice so yeah we did a bit of shopping there I went to pay for the shopping and mrs h gave a 20 pound note over and what i liked about it the chap that was serving us give me the change <laughs> oh steam gun <laughs> i give it a back yeah i did give it a back yeah while I was there, I seen this stuff. So I thought I'd give it a try. Crucials extra hot chilli uh, sauce. We'll see. So we're going to try some of that now. I'm not going to. I'm going to put it on some bread just to try the true heat. Um, so it's uh, sort of a ketchup in texture. No. Oh. <laughs> Slight vinegary taste, which I like. similar to um you know the sauce chili sauce you get on a kebab if you like that you like this it's that type of thing for me there's a slight heat there but i like the taste it's like a vinegary tomatoey um chili sauce it's nice there is a bit of a kick there not nothing major Nothing to blow your head. Well, it might blow somebody's normal tongue off, but it was nice. Glad I got that. Nice, nice, um, nice change. So these, um, beautiful. There's a slight kick on the coating. But for me personally, I have to add one, two or three of them for it to start to kick in. But again, it's nothing like the, oh that's a bit better that one. But it's nothing like what they say in the package for me. It might be for somebody normal. <laughs> it's good that they're making myself, well I'm not normal, let's face it. What else are going to tell you? Oh yeah, that was another thing. I asked this joiner, I don't know, carpenter, whatever you call them, uh, to make me a double bed. And he's gone and done a bunk. You having that? <laughs> make me a double bed, he's gone and done a bunk. <laughs> oh, fair enough. So, <clears throat> what is on your menu this evening then? Mm. 
you in out you're shaking it all about you do the hokey cokey <laughs> Oh yeah, I haven't stopped today. Work this morning. Um, finished work. Home. Edited a video. Sorted the some stuff out um, for tomorrow's shave. And then filming and editing again um, and then it was time to put these to cook um, and then I'm filming this now and I'll edit this after and, uh, <laughs> like somebody said God it's like another job no no I enjoy it and what a job I wish I could do this full-time actually Mm, love it. Keeps my little brain I've got active. So if you like chicken wings, chicken pieces, um, there is a slightness there to them. Depends on your palate, your heat tolerance but there's just a slight i can tell there's something there and they're nice they are a nice snack and they are worth trying so um oh i'm gonna ask um andrew if you're watching how's the leg how's the leg doing I'll ask Chris if you're watching, which you will do sometime. Are you Andrew's postman? I meant to ask you that. Anyway, I hope uh, your leg's doing okay, Andrew, and you're on the mend. Um, regards to your good lady um, and to your mother-in-law. <laughs> nice family right let's top this up I went to myself and Mrs H had bought something she's bought something on this Facebook thing buy and sell or whatever you call it you know for the local area and um, She's bought some shelving units, special ones or whatever, a certain size she wanted. And uh, they were in Gronant, near Prestatin. So we went last night, road closed. Police, I've never seen so many cars in my life. Police everywhere. Um, oh, just blue light. Anyway, this, we didn't know then, but we know now. Uh, they found, or someone found, uh, discovered a man's body on the side of the road or something and um, they're treating it as a, a an unknown death you know and they don't know what's gone on and then forensics were there and they closed the road and it would, uh, apparently didn't open till this afternoon but um, you know forensics there the police were going through the surrounding fields and searching dogs everywhere and, oof. so poor chap don't know what's happened to him Unnamed as well, so yeah. Oh, I mean, this isn't the uh, highest quality sauce, but as I say, it's like a tomato ketchup texture it's got the seeds and I don't know if you can see the seeds plenty of seeds I 
So it's a sharp sort of vinaigrette taste. Chili. It's nice. Oh, it's nice on that. Wow. So um can't remember the price of this. Crucial's red hot chili sauce. As I say, it's not the not the hottest sauce, but it's nice. And if you like the sauce you have on a kebab, you'd like it. Did I ever tell you about two years ago um, I was in Wrexham there's a Turkish barber there and uh, I went in and he tried to point me to the seat I couldn't speak hardly English really but anyway I said no 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 I want to speak to you hmm? <laughs> here we go <laughs> he had a, his mate with him I said, I want to come in for a shave, but I want to film it. He couldn't. I said, I want to film it. And his friend, I said, I've got a YouTube channel about shaving, blah, blah, blah. So his friend tried to say to him, in, you know, he wants to film it to be good. He'd be good. <laughs> you know, I said, I'd give a link to you. Anyway, he couldn't get it into his head. He couldn't understand what he was trying to say. Anyway, so I'll come back sometime. And I never did go back. I wonder if they're still there. But there's a few Turkish barbers now. All over the shop. There's one in Denver. There's one in Rithin. These are quite filling. Quite big. Won't eat all these now. Um, what I've done is cook them all, the whole bag, and then what I don't eat, I'll put in the fridge. And we have them as a bit of a snack tomorrow, you see. Maybe with a couple of more of these to wash it down. I'm talking of tomorrow. Um, there's no sort of traditional Sunday dinner, Sunday roast tomorrow. I'm doing um, what you call a brunch as a change. Uh, sort of breakfast and dinner in one and I'm doing a full fry up don't have them very often so I'm going to treat I'm having smoky bacon pork sausages tomatoes proper tomatoes halved and fried um, mushrooms black pudding like I say if you don't know what black pudding is google it pig's blood fat and all that stuff it sounds disgusting but it tastes if you like that sort of stuff black pudding so bacon sausage free range eggs i have off the off a farm bacon egg sausage black pudding mushrooms hash browns fried tomatoes baked beans and uh, toast i would have to uh, fried bread but i'm gonna have toast And that will be my breakfast and dinner in one. So I'm looking forward to that. Nice change. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The reason I'm on these. Can you guess? This is, I like this. Quite a sharp, vinegary. Um, sauce. It's not. You think it'd be hot with all these seeds, but it's not that. Well, for me, I don't know. It's not hot for me, but it's a nice tingle. And it's just nice. Um, can you guess why I'm on these? Because they were on offer. Yeah. They were the cheap. Well, they were they went on offer. They were the cheapest there. Look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. Yeah, so what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to try something now. I won't keep you long. This is one of the hottest sauces I've got sent from the States, this was, as a gift. 
but I think it's um, uh, product of Costa Rica. Dave's Ghost Pepper Naga Jalokia Hot Sauce. And that is hot. That is hot. Another one I've got is De Bomb. That is insanely hot. You just use it in cooking, really. Um, but what I'm going to do is... Oof, can't even smell them chilli. This is hot. So what you do is... You put some there. That's a lot of sauce for this. It's very runny. Then see that just intense. And then what we've got here <laughs> is unbranded for filming purposes, of course tomato ketchup so what you do is slightly more of that than the other sauce but I love it you know that heat then it's only a dot money hot you haven't brought a spoon I know I haven't we'll have to improvise bear with me You have to mix this up. So you have the hottest ketchup in the world. That is a lovely... Just that little dot there is burning in my mouth. Nothing insane, but it's there. And what you do is that. And hope for the best. Mmm. Because these very hot sauces are not very palatable. They're hot, but the taste. Oof. So what I do is try and keep the heat, but add it to something nice. Now that is there now. And what coatings on this adds to it helps. Anyway. These have been going on a bit longer than this. Just probably as now I can Time just goes when I'm yapping on here. That's lovely. So um, I've told you everything. Caught up with the gossip, haven't we? Um, relaxing day tomorrow. Doing my brunch. Whatever you're doing. Hope you enjoy it. That's nice now. Um, and have a great day here tomorrow. If you follow me on the other channel, Gwelty Valley, I'll see you tomorrow, that means in Welsh. Um, and I think that is about it, yeah. Caught up. So, thanks again to Iceland. For letting me have them before they were released in the um, store really nice and um, enjoy them very much but they're not they're similar to the if you had the strips the same thing same heat there's nothing um, well for people that like heat there's no when you I thought they might have been I might have stepped it up a bit, but they haven't. It's the same coating, but it's a beautiful chicken, good quality, and they're nice, and there is a little tingle there. So what's, um, you know, nothing bad about that is I'm glad they released these things. Just wish they make them a bit hotter. But um, this is lovely as always. That is a success. I wasn't sure what I'd think of this, because these plastic, sometimes these are very very cheap tasting you know just made 
and you know just sell it no matter what it tastes like um but it's like a, as i say kebab sauce uh, there is a bit of a kick there nothing major but it's a nice vinegary sharp taste i like it it went well with all the stuff Carlsberg and then tomato ketchup mixed with Dave's ghost pepper sauce very hot sauce there still tingling now but it's lovely in there so I'll finish a few more in there I am getting full now and that is it so thanks for watching have a great weekend stay safe and um, don't forget to eat something hot and spicy <laughs> it's terrible isn't it? all the best and I'll see you in the next one